Hi everyone, I'm Karan and welcome to Karan's Gyan after a very very long time. Today I'm showing you my face because I like to personally apologize for not coming up with the video in a very very long time. I was really busy with my corporate life, taking care of my family's business and managing uh, accounts, money market accounts of various friends and family. Um, so this video is a compensatory video where I would share something I usually don't. That is my portfolio because well it's my research and i don't want people to copy my research but anyway my knowledge is your knowledge and something that you can learn out of me i'll be really happy and if you are able to earn a lot of money please remember me that it was kurkaran singh Kral who helped you with everything uh though my name is kurkaran i go by karan because i've lived all over the world and i don't I can't expect white people, black people to call me Gurkaran. So I go by K or Karan or whatever. Anyway, so today's video is about my portfolio. I have a bonus video for those people who would like to have a look of a other portfolio as well because my portfolio is very, very safe portfolio. I don't trade, I just invest. This portfolio is two years old. The other portfolio I would show is a more risky portfolio. It is my mom's portfolio because she has the bank role and she has the patience to take risk. I don't, I can't take risk. It's, it's something that's always there in me. But you could say that as Harshad Mehta says, risk hai to risk hai. I'm sorry, bro. That is not happening. There is no risk in risk for me. Maybe for others, but good for you. Anyway, um, so talking about my portfolio, uh, I don't have a lot of money in the market. Uh, market is lakhs and lakhs of crores. <laughs> All I have is 1.5 lakhs in this market, which is a raindrop in this ocean. And if I would trade with 1.5 lakh rupees, I might double my money in a day, but there's a very, very, there's a very good chance that it'll become zero because the share market doesn't doesn't think twice before punishing you and you'll lose a lot of money and trust me i would hate losing 1.5 lakhs more than i would love winning 1.5 lakhs this is the investor psychology um so my current portfolio is two years old i have increased my portfolio's value by 40 percent as you can see on the screen right here and uh, I like to show you all my shares, share what mistakes I might have made, what good things I might have done that have led me to a 40% profit in the past two years. Uh, you would say that, well, 40% profit in the past two years is not that great because the market has been rallying. Well, of course, I would agree with you. But my portfolio is such a portfolio that even if market is following or is stagnant, I would still have better returns than most of the people out there. So I won't show you my winners. I want you to judge me by my losers because you learn more when you make mistakes and you learn more when you see me making mistakes. I'm talking about shares that have been losing. So I have a basket of 40, 45 shares. I don't recommend beginners to buy more than 20 shares because you have to actively keep track of the market. And if you fail in doing so, the share market won't think twice in making your portfolio zero the share market is doesn't doesn't think twice before punishing you so please take care so i only have about four losing shares out of 45 shares this is not an achievement i should have none this should this is my objective i should have no losing shares because i need to cut all my losing shares and i need to keep all my winning shares this is like trading psychology number one investing psychology number one Keep betting on the horses that win and keep cutting your bets on horses that lose. This, this goes everywhere in the world. If you go to a horse racing place or if you go to a bookie who takes bets for all kinds of events from sports to politics to rainfall to whatever, even he'll say the same. Invest invest in, in things that are winning and cut your losses in things that are losing. I should have cut losses on these four shares, but I don't know why I'm hanging on to it. Maybe I have some expectations that will do well. Firstly, I'll talk about Engineers India. This has been a horrible share for me. 15% loss in a market that has given such huge returns. Now, if I show you my breakdown, you can see I've been making one major mistake. I would give 
you know, a chocolate to someone who can figure out the mistake uh, virtually though. Um, the mistake here is that, see, I started investing in this company around 14th of October in 2019. I bought the chef, I bought eight shares for 107 rupees. And I've been averaging down ever since then. I averaged down on 12th of May. I averaged down in 1st of September. I averaged down again on 15th of March. And this is a mistake. I should have cut my deal the day the share fell below 90 rupees. This is what one should do because you'll be stuck in this frenzy. The only reason I've been hanging on to the share is because Engineers India pays good dividend. And if I talk about the loss, I got around 50 rupees worth of dividends over the past two years. And if I just add it up, I'm still at a profit of 1-2%, which is horrible because the market has gone from where to where. And 4% returns over two years i'm not even beating inflation inflation in the past two years has become 20 to 25 percent so i'm losing money here my money would have been better in a bank account instead of investing in engineers india so this is one mistake uh never average down always average up i'll show you a lot of shares that i've averaged up and you would be shocked to see how well i've been doing next is biocon um biocon i have recently acquired biocon and i'm kind of patient in analyzing more about uh, Biocon because I kind of trust the company because they make biosimilar compounds. Biosimilar compounds are compounds that are chemically very similar to the medical compounds that are available. Um, you can read about biosimilar compounds. It is a very, very interesting topic. Uh, I bought five shares at about, uh, you know, second of say September or something, August. In 2021, a bad, a bad, bad deal. Now I'm at a loss at 10%. Bandhan Bank, Bandhan Bank, again, a bad share. I should have sold the share long time ago when I was in profit, uh, but I don't know why I stuck onto it because I was th I thought maybe it's a nifty 50 share. Let me just take onto it. It is a good share, Bandhan Bank, but well, it's it's all God's. Building. As you can see, I've averaged up in this case. Uh, that's why my profit ain't that bad. But if you see, I've averaged up too much. I bought a share at 202 and then I bought at 374. Now the thing is, banking sector, especially Bandhan Bank, uh, you should be careful about averaging up too much because you never know. If you lose confidence in a bank and there's a run on a bank, zero. Uh, next is Excite Industries. Uh, Excite Industries is an all right share. Um, it makes batteries, as you know. I've been investing in Excite because I'm hoping, I'm hoping either Excite or Amaraja batteries, which is Amaron, comes up with the lithium ion plant very soon. And the day it happens, the share will have will lit upper circuit every day. But the question again is, when will that day happen? Well, I got 40 years for that. Let's wait and watch. Maybe if I come up with a video after three, four, maybe 10 years, we can see where where Excite Industry is. Now, I've talked about my losers. I'll talk about my winners. Please learn. You'll learn a lot by looking at my winners as well. Um, so I would sort these shares based on, I would say, present value, buy value, profit loss, yeah so the thing is uh what has happened here is that i i was earlier with sg i was earlier with gog and gog was ripping me off with brokerage charges and i got sick and tired they were they were charging me 2.5 percent brokerage because i was not trading much back then i didn't have a lot of capital i'm talking about one one and a half years ago their fees were astronomical and i was like i'm done with it i had a portfolio of 30k then and they charged me some 3K worth of fees over one year. And that's 10%. That is a lot. It brokerage ate up 10% of my margin. So I shifted to zero and I haven't uh, adjusted uh, my share prices through which I shifted. So as a result, there's a discrepancy. I've edited it. Uh, but to give you an idea, I bought SG1 at about 20, 21 rupees back then. Okay, talking about Reliance. Well, I got Reliance at a very, very low price. I saw Reliance 
the day the share market fell that's around march in 2020 the share market fell horribly and i was like well reliance has 4g reliance is going to do well work from home there's not going to be a problem and my bet played out i bought two shares at 985 rupees and today i have i have a 150% profit i haven't averaged up so this is another mistake i should have kept averaging up the lines the thing was reliance went from 1000 to 2000 really quickly in a span of two months and i was kind of worried that maybe there's a correction and i was waiting for correction i was waiting for correction the correction really never really happened and i never averaged up this is another mistake if you think a company is good such as reliance and you want to average up don't wait for the right price the price would come it may not come also but just keep buying keep buying keep buying keep averaging up hats and agro oh uh, yeah so for lens you can see it's a long term holding breakdown um if you break down some third of uh, 18th march like i said uh hats and agro no hats and agro has been like a good ride for me uh, i bought the share before they announced a bonus of 1 is to 3 and since then it has given me good returns um if i show you my breakdown so as you can see i have i bought it on say 31st of september at 771 then i bought again and the rights issue is wrong here it was actually a bonus issue not a rights issue so zero that needs to correct that anyway you can see my profit right there uh next is bajaj finance well this bajaj finance is a share that i got to know from saurabh mukherjee well i knew it already but saurabh mukherjee is kind of a good learning experience for me because of his books coffee can investing his investment firm masterless investments and his small cap portfolio all little champ it has been really really great Uh, to learn the psychology behind his investment his psychology is basically simple invest in shares that give you 20 plus 20% plus return on capital employed that means if i put 1000 rupees as my capital employed after running the whole cycle it will come back as 1200 rupees i put 1200 rupees back in the system it will come back 20% more so effectively every time i'm rotating money in my system you know making products or offering loans or doing whatever i am effectively increasing my percentage value by 20% and if you guys are good in compounding you can say that in 4 years basically bajaj finance is doubling so this is what bajaj finance has 23 24% on capital employment which is doubling of 3 and a half years what else you need a company is doubling in 3 and a half years as you can see i have open profit i bought it at Cheap value of thirty three hundred rupees, seven point eight k now. I only bought one share. I'm a small player. Don't expect big things from me. Z Entertainment Limited. Well, the share has been in focus for a very long time. I bought the share thinking that Z Five, their OTT platform, is gonna do very well uh, because it's gonna compete with Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Z is a household name. So why not? i only bought five shares that's not my regret i'm happy i just bought five shares because i was having a rough ride with z and i was like i got to sell but i just held on to it and it has been hitting good circuits the past two three months it's a long term holding again i bought the share uh, on so 12th of march 2020 uh, 149 rupees associate alcohol and breweries limited well uh, the thinking behind uh, my share of associate alcohol and breweries limited was that well the young population in the country is increasing and alcohol stocks be good i found united breweries to be overvalued so i was like all right let me invest in a share that is not overvalued but has good products which associate alcohol has but i feel right now the share is little overvalued uh, because of a lot of retail investors jumping in on to cheap shares now uh, you could see my averaging up see this is what i want you to see i bought the share at 163 712 2009 127 2019 uh, then i bought at 145 i, I averaged down because uh, this was on 18th march because the market fell and i was like well it's a good opportunity to buy shares then i did not average up for a while that is another mistake i should have kept averaging up 
when uh, it crossed 163 i woke up at 420 <laughs> and i averaged it up like i bought four more shares at like 420 at you know about a year later this is a wrong move uh, it was a winning share it was winning for the past one year and i should have kept averaging up but uh, water on the bridge uh, talking about aster dm Aster DM is again a Gulf based company that has hospitals. It is coming up with hospitals in India as well. Uh, again, I like to show you my breakdown. Please follow my advice of averaging up. I was averaging up. Okay, I averaged down here. I averaged down here because I believed in Aster DM. But uh, once I saw the share rising up, I averaged up again. Again, is a good example of Wipro. Wipro also, I, I have averaged up. You can see I have five shares that have given me more than 100% return. Uh, Wipro is one of them. Wipro has been doing really well these couple of days. So you can see I bought the share at 172, 382, 448, 429. Where is the share right now? It is at 668 rupees. Okay, that is something that you should learn. I don't know why I'm stressing on averaging up, but it is something that a lot of veteran stock market players have been doing. They've been cancelling their losing trades and betting on their winning trades. Um, again, Amrut Anjan Healthcare, it is Sora Mukherjee stock, Little Champ stock from Masterless Investment. It is into healthcare. This is Amrut Anjan Health a Balm or something for headache and a lot of other products. Uh, Sophie, uh, Sanit uh, Sophie Women Sanitation Products also. Sanity pads, I'm sorry. Um, so even that has a scope with more uh, women moving from the traditional sanitary pads, especially in rural areas, to uh, proper sanitary pads because it's it's something that's hygienic. And this is there's a good scope in the hygiene market. Uh, next, talking about Crompton Greaves Consumer Limited. Again, I like the share. I like another share called Orient Electric. Havels is not bad either. Walters is also not bad. Like all these four shares are good. So I just bet on Crompton Greaves because it has a brand name. Uh, Havels also has a brand name. So I did market research. I have a friend who is one of the main distributors of electronics in North India. I won't name him. Uh, so he, he gave me a statistics of what sells and what doesn't sell. And he was like, Crompton Greaves and Havels are the topmost people when it comes to electrical appliances. And if people want name worthy sources, they'll go for Walters, Tata. Um, so, again, I've been following the principle of what? Averaging up. So, this has been there since 2019, 7th of March 2019. I'm that patient. I'm not selling bad. I'm not selling good shares. I'm averaging up. 29, 219, 220, 307, 303, 400, 402, and it is at 468. CPSC ETF, Central Public Sector Enterprise Exchange Rate Fund. I have a thing for exchange rate funds. Uh, it, it, it gives me pleasure because exchange rate funds are well, something that is better than mutual fund because you can freely sell them on the exchange without hefty fees or management fees or offloading fees uh, whatever you call them go for etfs don't buy mutual funds mutual funds say nahi hai kabhi kabhi sahi hota hai but not always uh mariko mariko if you have not heard about mariko i would want you to go back and research about other companies all companies all good companies mariko makes parachute oil mariko is again a sort of mukherjee stock I've been taking inspiration from him. Like I've been saying, Saurabh Mukherjee is betting on this stock because of high ROC. So basically, Mariko Parachute Oil has such a such a high ROC, such a high return on capital that the company gives good dividends. It has given me good returns on the share. Uh, view breakdown, I would say, see, I've been averaging up. Again, that's, that's what I've been telling you. 376, 355, 356, 364, 410. Average up, don't average down. Uh, then I have net fit. So net fit is the exchange traded fund. It's Nifty exchange traded fund IT. So this exchange traded fund correlates its value, tracks the IT index. Nifty IT index, if you have ever heard about it, this is what net fit does. It would track the value of IT index. And IT has been doing really well. 
and i want you to see this i want to i want you to see this portfolio see the share see the breakdown specifically and this is the ideal example of averaging up so i bought the share uh, somewhere around 29th of september 19 rupees 21 rupees 21 22 23 24 26 27 27 then i averaged down a little bit because i was getting good returns it was still above my overall average um 25 26 25 26 so it was hovering between 25 26 when i was averaging out i stopped averaging out for a while because i wanted the market to perform and the market has performed now this share is at 37 rupees my average is of 24 rupees again patience 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 average up cut your losses and patience network tv18 well the only reason i bought network tv18 is to be honest it comes under reliance industries reliance industries is the promoter of network tv18 moneycontrol.com if you have ever heard of it of course you have heard of it moneycontrol.com is owned by network tv18 um, a couple of other internet companies are also owned by network tv18 and if it has got mukesh ambani's hand anything can happen he'll call some guy one day and he'll say all right acquire network tv18 or acquire your company and i'll merge it with network tv18 you never know the market is all about speculation this is a speculation share that i picked up this is this is not an investment share i'll be getting rid of the share anytime soon i'm just waiting for like good news on network tv18 there's already a good news of z sony uh, merger so network tv18 would would have something coming up in the next 6 months that's my speculation i might be right i might be wrong but time would tell varun beverages limited varun beverages limited is the bottler of pepsi court has got exclusive licenses to bottle pepsi in india in certain countries in africa nepal bangladesh and sri lanka you know sweet and carbonated drinks how they sell pepsi what else do you need exclusive bottler that's what i've been doing here you can see my returns again uh, uh, i'll show you breakdown just so that you have an idea of how i'm averaging up this is your idea this zero is there because of bonus oh it's it's correct in this case not in hats and agro um okay uh, moving on we have infosys infosys another it share i've been averaging up again to 52 again this this was the golden opportunity i i still remember my trades that i placed on 3rd of i mean 18th of march i had some 40k with me then i went to the account i immediately wired 40000 rupees to my broker and i said i want to buy whatever good shares you have today only and i invested all 40k that day itself because i knew the market was just temporary and coronavirus would come up and you can see the results again be confident in your trades cut your trades if they are in loss and always average up be confident and average up cut your losers cut your losers cut your leader, losers keep your winners i'm so sorry i'm repeating it again and again but this is the essence if you ace this if you ace this you don't need to worry about a single rupee tomorrow you're going to be a winner um next is icici bank nifty uh, so this is again an etf it tracks bank nifty why is there why why is there icici written over it because icici is the amc that has come out with this etf the lot of other amcs i chose icici bank because whenever you're buying index funds always keep in mind that the manager fees are low and they're tracking it very well icici had the least management fees and it was tracking the nifty index the bank nifty index particularly really well because what is the point of buying bank nifty index ETF if it is not able to track the underlying asset which is the bank nifty itself so this is again passive investing uh, again i have a tip for you there's this saying 90% of money managers they fail to beat the index over a period of 10 years so why don't you invest in the index itself because index every year is giving you 8 to 10% profit and money managers give you 7 8% profit like every year so just think about it like you're owning the market you you're investing in the best shares why not buy index and like sit down and let your money grow you don't even need to track shares just put a sip of 10k 15k 1k 
500 rupees and your money would grow index fund index fund is very very important to have in your portfolio hcl technologies hcl technologies again it has been given me a good uh, result uh, if i show you my breakdown a3110339886 average up icici nifty icici nifty is nifty 50 index fund again icici is there because icici is the amc which is offering nifty 50 etf funds and as you can see even this is an ideal example of averaging up i'm averaging up on index fund this fund is tracking nifty 50 what else do i need if i'm investing in nifty 50 nifty 50 would always go up because the market is rigged i would explain about that uh, some other day why nifty 50 is rigged but it follows something known as free float weighted market capitalization i mentioned this in a video earlier if you would understand what weighted market capitalization mean you would understand why nifty 50 etf why nifty 50 is rigged so why not invest in something that is rigged as simple as that asian paints baba yes Saurabh mukherjee share but asian paints is a good share it has it has a 23 24 percent roc every time so effectively asian paints have has been growing in a while you can see my returns on the board what are my breakdowns i think so yeah i bought both at around the same price federal bank uh i i, I didn't like the share when i bought it i was kind of dicey about it because i rather invest in an etf or a better share than invest in federal bank but i just wanted to play around understand what big investors see i saw rakesh jinjinwala acquiring this company and uh, rakesh jinjinwala is a smart guy he's a smart man he might he makes good decisions but i only buy shares that are good by rakesh jinjinwala i won't buy his small cap shares i won't buy auto line industry i won't buy whatever small bets edelweiss he makes i don't know what he's doing there but again he's a veteran there he has a lot of market information he can afford to lose that money i have 1.5 lakhs i'm sorry i can't afford to lose that money so i got to be careful tcs tcs is a share that is there in every household portfolio if it is not there in portfolio in your portfolio please shell all your shares and buy tcs tcs has been paying good dividends it has been paying good bonuses and in the next five years you would remember me sterlite tech i've talked about sterlite tech it, i'm betting on it because of the optical fiber market i expect it to grow uh, there's this 5g uh, boom that will come so about 80 80 percent 70 to 80 percent of our current 4g towers need fiber optic cable so that's lakhs of kilometers of fiber optic cable that's required a good roc on this company as well this is my research i've not copied from anyone sl pro pack sl pro pack if you have not heard about this company you should read about this company it makes tubes toothpaste tubes medicine tubes and it is the number one number one manufacturer of the same and it is backed by a private equity firm well that is for you to research i won't tell you what equity firm it is but if you find it out please mention in the comments so that other friends can have a look sun pharma medicine boom in india sun pharma is a good brand brand of making generic drugs uh, it is good in us good all across the world and india is really cheap to produce these generic drugs the only problem with i would say uh, pharma industry is if us fda goes batshit crazy one day and imposes fine or ask sun pharma to roll back some products sun pharma would share share would fall down by 10 to 15 percent in one day so that is one key risk invest in shares that you know have clean shit from the fda us fda FDS Food and Drug Administration Department. Food and Drug Administration. Um, so uh, talking about ITC, ITC, ITC. I am disappointed with ITC. I don't, I don't believe that they are able to pull off what they can pull off. I strongly disagree with the demerger that people speculate. Demerger is a very very bad plan for ITC. If tomorrow ITC demerges into three or four companies which is hotel fmcg tobacco and maybe it company that has been doing really well which is itc it company have a look i would sell all my shares because i won't i won't 
I won't find free cash flow. Basically, tobacco business is fueling FMCG and hotel business. FMCG would lose all its cheap capital when IDCD merges. Tobacco company would only be a dividend paying stock and not a growth stock. FMCG is the growth stock, but it is losing all its capital. IDC likes to build up brands from the scratch. So again, that is a problem because building brands from the scratch is something that is hard. It takes time. So again, something that needs to be considered. I'll show you my average uh, breakdowns. Again, this is a special case because it's a, it's a good company with all right management and all right decision making. So I have taken the liberty of averaging up and down. Uh, you can have a look 245, 152, 206, 206, 169, 218. You can see I am at profit, but the market has gone from where to where and ITC is still at 200 rupees. I'm so sorry to say to all the ITC investors. If you're not happy with the share, please sell it. Please sell it if the share demerges. It's my humble request to you. Orient Electric, I have talked about it. A good ROC, a good competition in the mid market and the low market segment while Crompton Greaves in the high is in the premium market segment. Good to keep like the entire market with you low, medium, high. Just put money. If it's a good share, it has a high ROC. It's a good share. Not a problem. Hindustan Unilever, who doesn't know about HUL? It has a variety of products. And I just read somewhere that HUL is has a lot of brands that have literally doubled in value. Brooke Bond, Lac, not Lacme. Lacme has halved in value. Um, a couple of other products, they have doubled in value. So something that you need to read about. Uh, and if you read about it, please educate me either and correct me. But HL is a good share. Keep it. Let it be. It will give you good returns over 10, 15, 20 years. Maybe your children will be millionaires of HL. Please believe. Boros Renewables. I am 100% sure no one, not all, would have heard about Boros Renewables. If, if you want to have a multi-bagger right now, Boros Renewables is a multi-bagger. This share has been relatively quiet for the past few months, but I I know for a fact that once things happen, it'll hit upper circuit every day. So what does Borosil Renewable do? You do you know do you know what a solar panel is made up of? I won't go into detail, but the outer layer of solar panel has a glass. Every solar panel is covered with a glass so that the sun rays can enter the uh, systems inside and they can produce free electrons and in turn generate electricity so the glass of the solar panel is made by boros renewables it is the only indian company that makes that glass and tomorrow if china has a lot of trouble in meeting the world's demand or if india plans to start its own solar boom Boros Renewables, upper circuit every day. Believe. Gothre Philips, again, a cigarette company. Uh, it has a similar model to ITC, taking money out of cigarette and putting it into uh, other ventures. They have this amazing venture called 24-7. I used to be a diehard fan of 24-7 and that's partially why I bought Gothre Philips because I have been across the world as I shared and I've seen 7-Eleven pop up everywhere. And uh, go to Philips, if it starts expanding its stores, it already has a, a good following. So if it starts expanding its stores all over the country, I think it can be the next 7-Eleven. ICICI Bank, um, again, a good share. Top four banks, just buy it and keep it. Forget about it. And HPC, I usually don't do PSU companies, but good dividend on NHPC. If you want dividend, go for an HPC and again I think privatization is imminent for the government. Government is cash crunched. Government has no money. It has no money to you can see petrol prices. You can figure out the government has no money. The government is surviving on scrums. IDFC First Bank I didn't want to buy the share. I kind of believe in IDFC First Bank but I don't believe as well. I only bought this share because my dad bought this share and he made a very, very strong and compelling case for the CEO, V. Vedya Nathan. 
uh, he seemed like a nice guy. I had a look at his past performance. He has set up things pretty well. IDFC First Bank's NII net interest income had uh, drastically increased. Margins have also increased. They have decreased the savings rate on their in, decrease the interest rate on the savings account. So that's another thing that NII and IM would increase, obviously. And they have attracted a lot of deposits. But the question is, will it continue to attract more deposits when it's offering lesser interest rate? Because it was offering 7% interest rate. Now it's offering some 5% interest rate on savings account. So again, that's something that we'll see. That's why I've not put a lot of money in 3,000 rupees. If it goes up, it goes up. If it doesn't go up, I'll cut my losses and I'll leave. But I'm in plus right now, so I'm not worried. But if it stays stagnant for a while, cutting my losses and I'm leaving. HDFC Bank, I have invested a good chunk in it. Good share. In fact, best share out there. If you want a bank, HDFC Bank or Kotak Mahindra Bank. Sometimes ICICI Bank, but Chanda Kochar and all that things like really affected my thinking about the management of this company. Though she's not there anymore, but you never know. The dirt is still there. Britannia, high ROC company. It has a ROC of 35%. 35% return on capital. Every two and a half years, this company is doubling. REC, uh, Rural Electrical Electrification Company, um, PSU company, bought it for the dividend. Kensai Nerolac, I bought Asian Paints. Uh, Asian Paints is, is good company. I bought Kensai Nerolac because I believe in quality stuff. So Asian Paints is for the middle income. Middle income group because they have every shade there. It's cheap, it's affordable by the Indian middle class. Whereas Kensai Nerolac, spends a lot of money on its research and development and it makes quality products. So it has a good scope as well. Paint company, good ROC, not a problem. Power Finance Corporation. Power Finance Corporation, PSU company, bought it for the dividend, to be honest. See, my PSU companies, I, I haven't invested much. 509 rupees, NHPC, 708 rupees, Engineers India, 1000 400 rupees it's it's what it's some one percent 1.5 percent of my portfolio bearable some things you have to do for dividend good cash flows is good for investing further and further it's a cycle you know you gotta repeat you gotta repeat you gotta learn you gotta repeat the dividends you invest this is the cycle uh hero motor cop hero motor cop i want i want i want you to see something so I bought Hero Motor Corp at 2000 rupees. I bought again at 3400 rupees. And uh, the thing about Hero Motor Corp is I believe in one thing. Today, after coronavirus, what will happen is people who use public transport will buy a bike because it's easy commuting in bike, high petrol prices. People would prefer using bike or scooties to commute rather than using cars. I expect higher sales for Hero Motor Corp. And uh, again, there's this electrification drive going on. I know that Ola electrical scooties have put a dent in the electrical market with TVS motors being affected the most. But Hero Motor Corp is Hero Motor Corp. It's a household name, good averages, very good averages in the sense mileage. And they're cheap, good bikes. Britannia N3. To all those people who are asking, what is Britannia N3? So Britannia gave me a bonus some time ago. It was one is to one. So they're very smart. They're very smart. What they did was, they're like, hey, instead of giving you 20 rupees in dividend, what we'll do is, we'll give you a debenture worth 20 rupees. A debenture is basically, I owe you 20 rupees. And the debenture has say a coupon rate of 5.5 percent which is there in this case the debenture is worth some 29 rupees and it has a coupon of 5.5 percent uh, and it's there for four years so every year i'll get 5.5 percent and on the last day i'll get my 29 rupees face value back so the thing about this is what's so smart about it so instead of britannia giving away the cash on books they are like all right we'll mark the cash as a loan in our books and we'll give you interest 
5.5% and will give you 29 rupees four years later. Isn't that smart? Instead of destroying your cash, mark your, ca mark your dividend as a debt and issue a rights debenture. I mean, a bonus debenture for every share. So I got one debenture for every share of Britannia. So let me just go to Britannia really quickly. So you can see Britannia right here. I had two shares and I got Britannia N3, which is a debenture. You can read about it. Britannia has been issuing debentures for some time. So just have a look and uh, tell me what you think about it. So guys, uh, this is the end of my portfolio, 40% uh, profit portfolio. Uh, this was built over two years and uh, I would just recommend you to follow my advice. If you want to just patiently sit and watch your money grow, every share in this, except the, the PSU companies and my loss making companies, especially Just give me one second, especially Excite Industries. I would like you to stay away from it because these shares might experience headwinds in the future. So please stay away from Excite Industries uh, because it has been flat for some time and PSU. But if Excite's news is coming good, I would want you to acquire it because it will start hitting up a circuit every day. But I expect lithium batteries, electrical batteries, to not come tomorrow, to not come one year later, but to come in the next two to three years, more than three years. That's when a lot of electric batteries, battery scooters would be there because the technology doubles effectively every seven years. So a scooter, electrical scooter that is powerful today is going to be double powerful seven years later. This is called Moore's Law. It is that technology doubles every year. So guys, I hope you like this video and please let me know what you think about it. Uh, the next video that is awaiting is my mom's portfolio. I'll show you the risky portfolios. This is like a safe portfolio. I'll show you the risky portfolios because as Harshit Mita says, risk hai to ishk hai, but not for me. Cheers guys.